Okay, good morning, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm, hope I'm audible enough. Uh, my name is uh, Kevin Olwatch. I am Reddington Dell EMC Presales. Uh, majorly, I cover East Africa. So I think most of you have kind of have an engagement with me. Uh, so today we are going to look at uh, most of our mid-range Dell EMC storage solutions. As you can recall, last time we were talking about uh, the Power Edge servers, which is the bedrock of data center. Now, we looked at some of the servers that are available from Dell EMC. Like I highlighted, uh, we had talked about the, the rack servers, majorly example of the R740s. And also something very interesting, we talked about the MX, which is a new series of the Blade servers from Dell EMC. Uh, Today, you're going to look at uh, the mid-range storage solutions that are available from the Dell EMC. Uh, as you can know, yesterday, there was a huge announcement from Dell EMC where they were launching the new mid-range storage called PowerStore. I don't know how many of you guys might have attended, but it was really, really interesting launch. Uh, so, it's still very new, so I'm not going to really talk, to talk about it. That one requires like a separate organization for it because the, De the Dell EMC Pass 2, which is the recently launched storage, uh, has some new features and capabilities uh, where even the Unity XT or the AC series we're going to talk about does not match. We are talking about a storage that has both the scale-up capability and scale-out capability. So to, today, our main focus is purely based on the Unity XT, which is our unified storage portfolio. We also have the compellent, which we'll refer to the AC series. This is a um, uh, major mid-range storage, block storage. And then finally, we also have our entry-level storage, which we are going to look at, which is the ME series. And this is quite interesting because for the ME series, in terms of the budget, Price-wise, it's very, very, very much affordable. So thank you very much for attending the uh, the, the, the training. Uh, I hope you'll kind of learn something, and I'll do my best to make it exciting, and also try to also focus on the key features that most of this storage uh, portfolio provide to customers. Now, beginning with our session with the Dell EMC Unity XT. So, like I talked about it, uh, we have for the unified platform, we had different types of storage systems. We talked about um, earlier on, we used to have the Unity, and then it was replaced by Unity XT. Now, remember my, my earlier session, I told you uh, everything involved with data, it's very key. Like right now, data is the main source of everything. Like you'll find like data is like the capital, like it's an investment. So anything evolving around data has to be a uh, key aspect that has been uh, mentioned, which are talking about simplicity of how to access that data. Automation, like services that involve to uh, provide that data should be also very much automated. And then security, which is a very key thing. So like, uh, like earlier on, I said like, if if your data is not secured and it can be hacked, most you lose a lot compared to just losing the amount of money you are you are about to spend while trying to scale the data. So security is a very much key factor. Now, Dell EMC's storage systems also has key aspects when it comes to your storage. Your storage has to look in terms of the simplicity, in like how simple is your storage. Like we're talking about cases for Unity XT unified platform. It can support both the file uh, 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 management system. So we're talking about also the block uh, uh, storage systems. And also it can also support virtual uh, platforms So you are talking about the vVolts. And then when you're talking about automation, we are talking about some of the features that the storage comes with that are automated. For example, if you're talking about auto tiering, where well, the storage it's able to receive the kind of data that is being accessed 
numerous time and make it push it to a more fast drives while the data that is very dormant is pushed to the more slow drives because this is not much access because earlier on people used to do this using the manual process where when you're installing an application your first target will be trying to decide which kind of application should be installed on which kind of drive pools and then when you talk about security which is a key factor you'll find like most of the uh, daily mc storage system are pretty much secured we're talking about uh, having a, a diary where the disk themselves come encrypted like if you want encrypted type of drives that also uh, available from daily mc so going to look at those three kinds of aspects where that cap capital is a, a very key essence so these are the two things we are talking about uh, when you talk about daily mc pro providing security we are talking about multi-protocol which we said file having file capabilities having also block capabilities and also vvol and then life cycle uh, simplicity like managing most of these daily mc storage systems are quite very simple and then we are talking about in terms of simplicity we're talking about rapid deployment long long back ago you used to have projects whereby a storage system we might take even a whole two months to install but now we're talking about a storage system that can take hours or even less than hours to deploy that's where we are in terms of simplicity we are talking about the rapid deployment and then optimize data services these are key features where we are we're talking about things like efficiency like you'll find like there instead of the, there's some application that the storage comes with by default, we are talking, especially with the Dell EMC storage systems, when you're referring to efficiency, we're talking about things like compression, uh, data duplication. So the utilization of the storage is made to a, a, a percentage of 99.9%. .9%. Like the customer is usually utilizes storage efficiently. So essence some are going to. And then we are talking about uh, performance where optimized data performances are also included. In terms of performance, we get huge amount of performance. Here, like for example, the daily MC Unity XT has the capability of also supporting the NVMe drives, which gives a very perfect performance when it comes to storage, uh, storage solutions. So a high, a huge amount of IOPS can be achieved with, with the daily MC Unity or daily mc storage portfolio that are available in the market another thing is ecosystem integration so we have already existing appliances from daily mc we're talking about things like recover point uh things like backups uh, appliances like data domain you'll find like these daily mc uh, storage systems are able to uh, integrate with most of these uh devices that are already there in the market these devices are there to enhance. In terms of security, we'll find like uh, the, that a domain is there to enhance in keeping, uh, in uh, providing data protection. While well, yeah, with Recover Point also has there, is there to enhance to in the capability of data protection whereby data is protected at all times. So the story itself has some extensions whereby data protection is also uh, achieved. And then we are lastly we are going to also look at also the modern data center like you'll find like these technologies are capable of also uh ad adopting to modernization so when i talked about modernization you we are we had like three aspects we're looking at there's it uh, transformation so the the kind of transformation we're looking at is whereby are these storage systems able to connect to the cloud system because everything involved in the cloud is it's the future so when you talk about cloud you're talking about things like public cloud there's also private cloud and also there's hybrid cloud so our key feature when it comes to their emc storage system you are always looking at hybrid cloud which is a feature that almost all customers are always getting interested into uh, indulging in. and then with Dell EMC storage system, we also provide security in terms of security certifications. So you'll find that most of these Dell EMC storage solutions are certified. And then when we talk about future proof, now 
when you're buying a storage, when a customer is buying a, a storage solution, they want this storage solution to serve them for a particular period of time. So it's not about a matter of just buying a storage solution and having it for a very short period of time. So that's where the essence where Daily MC pro provide a very much more future proof uh, solution to customers. And then one key thing, I, like we said, in terms of cloud, yes, then we have many platforms of cloud. We have things like uh, public cloud, uh, uh, private cloud, and also uh, hybrid cloud. So our emphasis when it comes to our daily MC storage solution, we are looking at hybrid cloud, which is we, we look at it as a more secure and you have the flexibility of having certain types of data on the public. And also there's also certain kind of data that customers will want, wish to have them quite private and secure. That's how that's how can they have them on the on their private uh, cloud. And those are the kind of uh, benefits you get from daily EMC storage system solutions. So as a highlight, uh, we looked at some of the future proof uh, loyalty programs that daily EMC is trying to offer to customers. We are looking at investment protection, like for example, lowering the risk of your investment. So once you, the moment you purchase a daily EMC storage solution, this is something that can be able to serve you for the longest period of time without any defects that you may incur. We looked at the, some of the, features that will come with in terms of the simplicity and also the optimization. So this is a pure uh, investment protection in terms of when you're buying something, you're buying something that is very reliable to the customer, in the organization. And then a path forward. Now, a path forward, it's all about, is it something that is also ready, it's ready for the future? For example, right now, you, you know, like most things are, are, are shifting to be modernized. Like you have the digital transformation, you have also the things like security transformation. You also have workforce transformation. You'll find like uh, most of the employees in customers' environments that right now that these things are able to be able to work from home. So are the systems that you provide, the storage system that you provide to the customer able to have those key features to be able to be accessed from anywhere at any time? So with Dell EMC, that one is possible. So you'll find like most of the Dell EMC storage portfolio systems are very capable of doing such. And then one last thing is customer having a peace of mind. So what we mean by that is you'll find that most storage system solutions, especially in the software licensing, it's always not very clear. For Dell EMC, it's all software inclusive. What I mean by that is when you're purchasing the storage at in the first time, everything is included on the, the storage. So what, what am I talking about? Things like you're talking about those uh, data efficiency uh, applications. We are talking about compression, deduplication, and then also data those data protection uh, applications. You're talking about snapshots, uh, data replication. Those All those softwares are inclusive on a daily EMC storage systems. If you compare with other vendors in the market, what they'll do is you'll buy a hardware on itself and then when it comes to some of the features that you, you require to run on the on the storage, you'll be forced to purchase them separately. So those are the kind of things that hurdles that most of the customers go through. And with Dell EMC, such hurdles are all removed, eliminated, and the customer gets a, a huge peace of mind when it comes to purchasing Dell EMC uh, storage systems. So those are the key things when it comes to feature proof uh, Dell EMC provides to most of your customers that will be interested in purchasing most daily and storage systems. Now, remember I talked about the expandable ecosystem. So this, we're talking about already existing uh, 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 appliances that work quite efficiently with all the daily MC storage systems. So earlier on, I talked about for this presentation, you're going to look at a uh, uh, we also we're going to look at systems, and finally we are going to also to look at the AC. So all those story systems that I've listed, you'll find like things like uh, Avama, which is purely meant for uh, centralized backup system. So we're talking about uh, Avama or Networker. So Avama is purely meant for a virtual environment, or uh, when a customer wants to backup most of the uh, desktops or uh, 
remote uh, data uh, uh, sites that they have, they'll use Avama. While Networker is a capacity-based licensing uh, backup software where it's purely meant for most customers that wish to run backup on most of their databases or their core uh, uh, application, depending on what they want. And then we also have the scalable data partition storage. Now we are talking about the data domains. These are purely uh, backup appliances. So Dell EMC is trying to shift from the old ways of using tape libraries to uh, disk-based backup appliances. So the kind of disk-based data appliances we have are like the data domain. And this data domain system integrates quite well with the storage system. So one key thing that you also need to come to know is a backup appliance is not a storage appliance. Those are two different uh, uh, solutions. A storage is purely meant for providing uh, storage solutions for the data when it's active at the moment. While a protection storage is meant to have a backup of, this, of, the, of the data that customer is having, and then it's not supposed to be actively accessed. This is like one uh, site where everything is supposed to be kept uh, protective, can only be accessed when the customer is trying to recover from some uh, 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 a data center downfall. And then we also have virtualized integration. So we, had, we have, uh, like you, you know very well, Daily MC and VMware work quite well uh, in terms of the most of their solution system. So you'll find like for almost all Daily MC storage, uh, storage solution integrate quite well with the uh, VMware platforms. And then the integration between VMware platforms and Daily MC storage systems are quite okay. Then you also have PowerPath, which is uh, our main load balancing uh, solution. So this is also, uh, it's also part of Dell EMC solution that integrates well with the storage portfolio bundle. Then you also have Recover Point, which provide continuous data protection. So the Recover Point comes as an appliance, or you can use Recover Point as a software. And then finally, we also have Vplex, which this is provides the uh, asynchronous uh, data protection uh, replication scenario, whereby in case of you, there are those customers that want uh, a, a data center where replication is is synchronous completely, such that if if there's a failure of the HQ, they will, the customers that are accessing the systems won't be able to realize of that failure because the the, feature, the the fallback session to the DR will be so much quickly that the customer won't be able to feel the effect. So those are the kind of features that ecosystems already available in the Dell EMC portfolio that work quite efficiently with the storage system. So these features provide expanded capabilities, which I've talked about. So instead of the storage just providing the storage capabilities, you also have some extra capabilities in terms of data protection, terms of integration with VMware that the storage now will provide a customer to. Uh, all the storage are familiar products with the technologies because now all of them are Dell EMC prone. So even the storage itself is Dell EMC prone. Uh, the supported, all these solutions are supported on Dell EMC XT from the smallest series to the highest series. And then also they provide extended business value. So if you see the kind of features that these products are providing, they, they, they kind of extend the business value. So they, instead, when, you, when a customer is just purchasing storage to provide consolidation, they also get uh, some other values in terms of data protection from it, from it. And then one key thing, it, it all works. So it's not about just presenting them there as a marketing thing, but it's, it's, it's a fact and it, it's something that it's been tested and it, it all works quite well with the Dell EMC storage platform. Now, on this presentation, we are going to look at the XT platform. So just a quick review of what has really changed in terms of the storage system. So earlier on, we used to have, you heard about the Clarion systems or the Celera systems. Those, the Clarion system was most of our block-based storage, storage uh, solutions, while the Celera was also our part of our file-based storage solution. So things have been changing every, 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 once, every, every now and then. So we have essence whereby due to technology change, we, we then the solution change from 
those we moved to the VNX1 series. So if you, if you heard about the VNX100, the VNX5300, those were those were earlier on storage solution and the technology keeps on changing. Then later on, we changed to the VNX2 series. So with Dell EMC, it has been profound in producing technology after technology. So you'll find like every time the technology is provided can stay for a particular period of time and then a new technology is uh, announced which kind of has better features, better capability compared to the predecessor. So we always try to make sure that most of our customers get the best out of what is provided from Valiant. Now I talked about the VNX2 systems. We are looking at the VNX2 and definitely you've heard about that. systems. Now the Unity system, you're talking about the Unity 300, which is a hybrid platform, or we're talking about Unity, which was an all flash array platform. So depending on the variety of the customer that wanted, if they needed an all flash platform, they'll get an all flash platform, they need 350. Or, or if they wanted a hybrid platform, they would be about things like Now based on that, Still, Dell EMC of go, went ahead and also went and then and launched a different product. Now we are talking about the Unity XT. Similar to what we had with the predecessor Unity, but now with the Unity XT, we are talking about better performance in terms of the processing that the, most of the storage systems come with. Better uh, performance in terms of, you'll find that some of the Unity systems have the capability of supporting NVMe drives. So, if you compare with the predecessor, which we are talking about only the SSD drives and the SAS drives, those are the key features that we get an advantage when it comes to the Unity. Still, we're talking about them having the capability of putting all flash array. So we have the Unity 380F, which supports the all flash array. And also we have the capability of supporting hybrid array. What I mean by hybrid is a mixture of the SSD, SAS, and the nearline SAS. So those are the kind of Things are going to look at when you're looking at the Unity XT platform. So with the Dell EMC Unity XT platform, uh, they're designed purely for performance. So when it say for performance, you'll find like you for performance, you're looking at NVMe ready and also. In terms of processor, I compared it with the predecessor, which is the Unity. You'll find that they have more processing capabilities, and we're going to look at that in detail in terms of the specification that most of these Unity XT uh, storage systems come with. Uh, optimized for efficiency. So we're looking at the efficiency of five, five to one data reduction. So this efficiency I brought about by the capability of uh, the, the storage system having those compression uh, and the data uh, data duplication uh, capability that it comes with. So this brings about 85% system efficiency. Now, when you when most of the time when you're using the system sizer, there's something that you also, also need to really note on this system sizer. There's always the usable capability capability that the storage uh, system provides, and also another key thing is you need to look at is the effective capability. So the effective capability, what is when compression is involved, data duplication is involved, how much usable capacity are you going to gain with that based on those kind of features that are involved on the storage system? You'll find other storage systems, what they'll do is they give you a usable capability, but with since they they license separately features like compression, uh, deduplication, you won't the customer won't get 100% storage efficiency as they wanted. But with Dell EMC, with, with software all inclusive, like we earlier on we had said, those are the kind of features that customers benefit from Dell EMC. And then lastly, we are going to look at build for multi-cloud. Now, when a key, key focus of Dell EMC storage system is based on hybrid cloud. Now, hybrid cloud is a mixture of capability of being able to access a private cloud system for your for most of the customers, and also having the capability of also accessing the public cloud platform if need comes by. 
So we're, this with the with the multi cloud platform, we are going to look at the Dell Technology Cloud pl platform that has supported uh, cloud data systems that are available, and then finally the cloud data inside that are available. So those are the key things we are going to look at when it comes to Dell EMC storage. So this storage has no compromise when it comes to the mid range storage solution. It's, if you look at it cleanly, it can do both the mid range storage uh, customers and also can also achieve some of the enterprise customers' requirements. So Dell EMC has so much capability when it comes to it. And then lastly, another key thing you will also look at is cloud IT. It's, it's more of, you find like most of the Dell EMC storage systems, Dell EMC server systems have this feature called cloud IT, which is an, an analytical system that kind of checks the system uh, hardware or system performance and also give an insight of the customer of how the, the storage system or the server system is working. So cloud, and, uh, cloud IQ is one unique thing. If you are there in my presentation on Thursday last week, you'll also realize I talked about cloud, cloud IQ being there on both the power edge servers. But that means the Arak servers and the MX series blade servers. Now, we're going to look at some of the features. If you can see on the presentation there, we have the, the, the series that are available for the XT. So something just to key note is, if you want to note our all flash array storage system, you're looking at a three Unity 3.0 F, and it's noted by the, 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 the letter F. So the Unity 380F or the Unity 480F, 680F, and 880F, those are our all flash array storage system. Now, what do I mean by all flash array storage system? Now, if you purchase a Unity all flash array, you it only comes with fully populated with SSD drives. Now, another key thing we, we talked about, we talked about NVMe capability. Most of the, the Unity XT being able to support NVMe. Now, NVMe is only supported from the Unity 480F or the Unity 480, depending, the hybrid or the all flash. So those are the kind of platforms that support the all the NVMe capability. So you're talking about 480, 680, and 880. The, the, the Unity 380 has no capability of be able to support the end. So that's one of the key things you need to know. Now, in terms of processing, you're talking about the Unity 3, uh, 3 the differences you'll, you'll notice in terms of uh, the different ranges, in terms of the core that the, the, the storage system can support. For the 380, you're talking about a maximum of 12 cores that can be supported on the storage system. For the 480, we're talking about the 32 cores, 680, 40, 48 cores, and then lastly, the 880, which can support up to 64 cores. Another key difference in terms of memory, you will see, you can note it's 128, 192, 384, and 768, depending on which, which sales platform you're looking at. In terms of raw capacity, all of them have different raw capacity. And the hugest amount of capacity that can be supported on the Unity platform, 16, 16 petabytes, is a huge amount of data. You'll find like, even like I was saying, this storage system can be able to match both the mid-range level customers and also the some of the most of our enterprise customers. Now another thing for thing you need to note with EMC is not one solution fits all. So different customers have different requirements. So when you're proposing a solution to a customer, you always need to key and weigh which kind of solution will be preferred by a specific customer. Like, for example, customers have different budget variety. Like, for example, there are certain budgets that they, they, they wish to spend on a particular technology. And also, there are also some features that customers will want in terms of specification. So, if you, by weighing what the customer needs, you can propose a solution to the customer dealing with what they requirement. And that's what daily LC kind of offers you. And then finally, we are looking at the max, the drives. So depending on the also the maximum capacity that the storage system can achieve, also depends on the number of enclosures that the storage itself can be able to. Now, with Unity XT, 
think of them as a scale up storage solution. Now, I, I talked about the power store uh, storage systems. So it's kind of, which was launched yesterday, it's kind of very different from what the architecture that the Unity XT is providing. Because with the power store, we are talking about a storage solution that can provide a scale up storage solution. And what I mean by scale up storage solution is, is be, being able to only increase the capacity, not increasing the performance. So you find that for the 12 cores controllers that you have, you, you are only able to increase the capacity to about 500 drives on the storage system. That's what I mean by the a scale up storage solution. But for a, a scale up and a scale out storage solution, which is it's a, a feature that can be able to be achieved by a pasto, it's a, where, a platform whereby you can be able to increase the capacity on the storage system, but at the same time with the scale out capability, you can also increase the performance in terms of adding more controllers on the storage system to be able to have more capacity. So those are the key difference between what was launched yesterday, which is the pasto and the feature that it comes with, and what we have right now with the Unity XT. So keep in note, Pasto being launched doesn't mean that these other products are going to be like uh, not needed to uh, present it to a customer. Like I said, different customers have different requirements. So not one solution from Dell EMC fits all. So depending, you always need to weigh which customers, and I'm always there to be able to assist such a system. And then one key feature that we talked about is the all-inclusive software. So when I say all-inclusive software, we're talking about uh, data reduction uh, uh, the software included on the storage. There is those data protection, which I talk about a replication, snapshot. And then there's also multi-core optimization in terms of the processing that's available on the on the on the on the solution. There's QoS, FLR, IP tenancy, web-based management, SSD caching, auto sharing. So all these features are inclusive once you buy a storage system. And then these licenses are perpetual. So once you buy it with the system, there's no other time that you're required to renew a license. All of it is inclusive on the storage system. So those one, one of the key benefits when you're, when you're trying to position daily in the storage system, those are the things that you need to note and also position to the customer. So we already, we already looked at the, 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 in terms of performance, in terms of how a Dell EMC Unity XT has achieved in, the, in, in regards to performance. We are looking at blazing speed, whereby if you look at the processing capabilities, which the Dell EMC Unity XT comes with, provides quite a huge, uh, performance which the Delta can provide. And also the capability of also supporting NVMe, which also enhances performance. Then we're looking at modern architecture. So this storage solution can be able to support hybrid cloud. That the cloud is like the modernization of most of the data centers. Like for example, what you are facing right now, the COVID-19, where right now most of the customers now are forced to have the employees work from home. Now, it is for example, if you take most of the, the banks, most of the banks right now are still running. Reason being, they have modernized most of their data centers. You'll find like if they're running a storage system, they have to have a modernized storage system, whereby it has the capabilities of also being able to run so long as there's availability of the uh, uh, customers to serve the customers out, outside there. So if most of the customers have it, most of the bank customers that you have that haven't hadn't modernized most of the data centers, they won't be able now to be able to service service most of their customers with their solutions right now because right now they could be facing majorly, majorly downtimes or things like that. So with Dell EMC Unity XT, the modern architecture is also integrated or in, in, included on the storage system. And then finally. The rapid deployment. So we're talking about a uh, storage system that might take like forever to deploy. But with Dell EMC storage system, you're talking about things like can take you like less than an hour, depending on the migration effects that you are you're trying to achieve. Or, but if it's just a, ma a matter of storing the storage solution, 
can take you minutes to less than an hour to deploy the storage. So we looked at blazing speed. If you compare the Unity uh, XT, Unity XT with the predecessor Unity uh, storage systems, you'll find that in terms of latency, it has really dropped when it comes to Unity XT because of the kind of uh, processing Unity uh, XT comes, which is at least two two times fast, faster and provides more performance IOPS compared to the predecessor. And then when it comes to the latency, it has reduced to a quarter, so microsecond. So you find like all the application that needs the quickest time of response will get it quite more on the Unity XT compared to the Unity. Now, something to note, currently the Unity platforms, which the Unity 300, Unity 600, Unity 400, and Unity 500, those appliances right now are end of life. So if you have a customer that is still interested in buying a new Unity 300, that won't be possible right now. For customers like that, you position them to Unity XT systems. Those are the 380, 480, 580, and 680. Now, that doesn't mean that now Dell does not support the Unity systems. So it only supports them when they require upgrades for the existing customers that already have the Unity platforms, the Unity 300. So they are supported in terms of upgrades if they need to upgrade their hardware or supported in terms of support renewals. So like I said, Unity X XT has replaced the Unity models so any customer that still especially on those standards where you get a customer having the specs for unity unity platforms when you get things like that it's we always propose the unity xt platforms now i talked about nvme so if you realize the NVMe is only supported from the Unity 480 upwards. So you're talking about the Unity 480, Unity 680, and Unity 80. Something you need to note is the Unity 380 doesn't support the uh, Unity XT 380 doesn't support the NVMe capability. So if on the requirement there's requ request for NVMe capability, these are the kind of solutions that you need to look at when you're proposing to a customer. And the NVMe capability, like I stated, it's, it's ap applicable on both all flash array, which is purely SSD, and also uh, the hybrid array. So in terms of deployments, we're looking at something less than 25 minutes. So even less than an hour, depending on what you're, you're planning to do, because there are some instances that now you're forced to migrate. But if it's just deployment of the storage systems, because as you can see, it's quite rapid and, and very easy to deploy. So there's, there's less complex uh, 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 deployment uh, requirements needed on the storage. So that's making it so much easier to deploy Unity XT storage systems. Now, you're going to look at some of the efficiency features that's also available on the Unity uh extra storage systems now in terms of optimize for efficiency we looked at data duplication so what i do what do what do i mean by that so with this capability of data duplication the the compression data deduction rate is a ratio to five to one so if a customer has data almost 500 gb of data if it goes through the Duplication, you're, you're talking about saving up to 100 gig of data on the storage system, which makes the storage so, so much efficient. So data, the customer doesn't utilize most of the storage disk inside the storage system uh, badly. They utilize them efficiently. And that's why I stated when, especially when you're using the SIZER tool when proposing a storage system to a customer, you realize these, the, on the SIZER tool, there's a, a slot where they're showing you the usable capacity on the storage itself after considering rate 
and then there is the effective capacity capacity available on the on the side of the tool which after introducing the compression and the data duplication features on the storage what this customer can be able to achieve with that which is a quite advantage to the customer which give them about 85 enable system capacity you'll find like most of the times when you are using the rail capability people achieve up to 50 but the, with Dell EMC uh, efficiency, uh, optimized efficiency uh, solution enables the customer to achieve up to 85. And then also in terms of efficiency, we are looking at a storage solution that is unified. What I mean by unified, it can support different types of pools. We are talking about block storage, also the v vaults, and also the file system. So this, in Earlier on, you'll find like if a customer wanted a block story solution, you'll be provided purely with the block story solution. Now, in the future, when they want to introduce a file system platform, they will have to buy a controller to be able to add it on the storage, which kind of was so complex because also the deployment of such storage system was so much complicated. Again, it was also very costly because right now you're getting a different controller to be able to run a, a file platform. And if, what you realize that you know, most of these customers they didn't have like a good amount of budget to be able to purchase a different controller because the, the kind of application that they wanted to run was so minimal, but now they are forced to go and get a full controller. But with the Unity XT, this is a unified platform where the customer has the capability of running either of the environments that they have, so long as it's block, so long as it's vivos for the virtual for the virtual virtual environments and also purely for the file. So all data types are handled in one place, which kind of reduces uh, the essence of spending so much time trying to con uh, buy controllers to be able to do to achieve one thing. Now this offers to customers a greater flexibility in terms of Unity XT being able to, to do that. And then we're going to look at the multi-cloud uh, 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 platforms where some of the hybrid capabilities that the storage system uh, Unity XT is able to, to achieve. Now, based on that, you've heard about the VMR Cloud Foundation, which is a cloud, a, a private cloud, uh, a cloud system that is being provided by VMR. Daily MC systems are actually the ones that are also be used on such cloud platform. Now. With that in mind, you'll also realize now with Dell EMC, customers are also being able to connect to the cloud quite easily with the cloud because of such uh, application uh, features that the Dell EMC uh, appliances are also used on the VMware cloud platform. So you'll find that the technologies already involved in the VMware cloud platform already have an ex pre existing Dell EMC uh, storage portfolio. Now, if a customer is now interested in connecting to a VMware cloud platform, it makes it so much easier because the two technologies that are both end-to-end -end between the VMware and the customer side is much easier once they purchase a Dell EMC TXT storage system. Now, this is makes it easy for them to deploy because you'll find that most of the storage, uh, storage solutions are best of breed in terms of the VMware cloud platform. Some of the features that we talked about, so in terms of uh, integration between what the customer wants and uh, connected to the cloud pl platform makes it quite much. And then we also have uh, the the Unity XT doesn't come only as a, an appliance itself. There's also a software uh, version of it. So which we have the cloud edition, uh, which the customer can be able to install it on a public cloud and be able to uh, access it with the with the, with their own premise appliance without any issue like for example if a customer wish, wishes to have a, a backup solution in the cloud and also at the same time they wish to have a, an appliance on premise for example if they want to, to get a unity xt 80 so the customer will be able to have the unity xt 80 on their plan on their on premise, and then if they don't want to get another appliance for replication to to a DR site, they'll get the Unity Cloud Edition software, 
install it on their cloud, be it AWS or VMware Cloud Edition, depending on what environment they have. Install it there, and the replication will occur between their on-premise appliance to the software uh, 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 storage systems that they have on the cloud quite easily. So those are the kind of advantages that customer can get. So you notice that it doesn't come as an appliance only, it also comes as a software defined storage, which can be, be had on the public cloud, depending on where the customer wants to place it at. Now, reason why of having it as a software uh, defined storage is in case of any recoveries that the customer wants to recover data from their public cloud, with having it the cloud the cloud edition in the public cloud makes it much easier for customer to restore data from from the cloud. That's some of the advantages that the customer will get from that. Coming as a uh, cloud edition, and then providing cloud data services. Now you're looking at this one is mostly achieved by uh, those service uh, service providers. So you find like Service providers have the systems from Dell EMC uh, uh, storage systems. And if a customer wants to have their own premise uh, storage systems, uh, they'll have their own own premise storage system on their uh, on their data centers. And but instead of investing on having a DR, they might want to give that service to one of the service providers. So the advantage that service providers now have is with that, they can have their daily MC uh, storage systems uh, included in their data centers, link it to one of their customers' data centers, which have the daily MC equipment already there. With that, they also have the advantages of connecting to the cloud and having that cloud services uh, capabilities. So with that, it gives them a more broad, expandable solution for them, such that in case they, they can be able to support the customer, different kind of customers, so long as they have a daily, those customers have a daily MC environment and also them with the daily MC environment, they can also expand to the cloud and pushing uh, much data to be, able, to be able to handle so many customers. So if you are a service provider, uh, partner there and you, these are the kind of uh, customers that you are uh, trying to target with with having daily mc portfolio storage solution portfolio in the data center these are the kind of uh, advantages that you get especially managing different kind of customers who have a similar kind of environment with yours so we also talked about this uh, the same thing with this uh, you'll find like with the with most of the service providers being able to have the data center as uh, daily MC storage, uh, storage solution systems, they can also with that be able to access multi-cloud platforms. So instead of just accessing the a particular cloud platform, you'll find that those service providers also be able to access the AWS, uh, Azure. Uh, my, uh, VMA Cloud Foundation. So they, they are able to access the multi-cloud platforms as they support most of their Dell customers. So those are the kind of advantages that like, the service provider gets. So with that, the Dell EMC technology also enables them to be able to access a variety of cloud platforms that are available in the market. So also increases the uh, data services in terms of providing the services to a customer. So if you're a partner that is really interested in in providing services to your end users. These are the kind of uh, technologies that you need to have in the systems to be able to able to enable you to achieve uh, those goals. Now, another key thing with uh, LMC is uh, the Unity XT has also the capability of cloud sharing to, uh, to, to the cloud. What do I mean by cloud sharing? Now, for example, you'll find like uh, for a storage system, it's also for some customers, it's also very costly buying a storage system. Uh, you'll find like, for example, if they went and bought an all flash array storage system. So this is a pure SSD 
storage system, which is, if you compare the cost of buying that, quite, quite expensive. Now, on the storage system, you also have different tiers of data. So there's the active data that is constantly accessed most of the time, and then there's that dormant data that is just there taking up space. With cloud tiering capabilities, customers are able to tier the domain data to the cloud. So that this is data that is not being accessed most of the time. So customers have the capability of pushing that data to a private cloud. We are talking about uh, Elastic Cloud Storage. So the ECS, the, the, which the Dell EMC provides, there's Elastic Cloud Storage, which Dell EMC provides. But at the same time, they can also be able to push the same thing type of data to the public cloud. So we're talking about Azure or Amazon. So with that elastic cloud tiering, those are the kind of advantages that customers have. Like I said, with storage Unity XT, you have those capabilities of pushing things to the cloud, which most of the customers will be interested in. And then deployment of this is not quite, it's not that hard because at the end of the day, it's all, with this, it's only the, the line set that you need for cloud tiering. So for, for customers that are also interested in this, they only just need to activate the cloud clearing feature. So the cloud clearing feature is licensed per capacity, like how much capacity do you wish to push to the cloud? Those all, that's all based on. And all, all this data is protected. So when you push to the cloud, doesn't mean now it can be accessed by anybody because there's an encryption key that happens when data is being pushed to the cloud. And this, only this data can be decrypted by the storage systems that actually push to the cloud. So those are the key benefits that the customer benefits from pushing the data from the cloud using the XT systems that are there. And then something interesting we talked about was the cloud IQ, which I told you it's a more analytical, uh, gives you analytics in terms of the storage performance, that the key features of what your storage is capable of doing. If you are running uh, uh, virtual machines there and the processor is being utilized, it will also give you a, like a, 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 a detailed report of how the storage system is being utilized. This Cloud IQ comes on, works on, if you realize, on most of Dell EMC uh, uh, hardware. So we talked about this Cloud IQ on servers, we're talking about this cloud IQ on storage. The same same cloud IQ can also work on data protection, which is the data domain. So it it's an old range. It can work with one access. You can do so much stuff with the cloud IQ and achieve a lot as a customer. So the cloud IQ comes as a web page. So it access through the GUI. There is the interface for most of the desktop platforms, and also there is also the interface for most of the uh, Android and iOS platforms. So customers have a variety of being able to choose where they want it to, depending on what they need. So with that, with that said, those are the kind of uh, advantages you get with the uh, Unity XT. So. If you have any question based on Unity XT, you can just actually just chart it down uh, and come back to answer it once uh, we're through the presentation. Now, we are going to now to jump to the AC series, which is the component. So some of our mid, like I said, our mid range storage port port portfolio right now, we're talking about the power store, which was recently launched. We're talking about the Unity XT, which I've just talked about. We're talking about the AC series, which is the component. So these are the which you are going to look at. And finally, we have also the AME. Depending on how you want to say the storage, the AME is our most entry level. So it can work both entry level wise and at the same time that there are certain custom within customers that will also be interested on the AME. So going to look at the AC series. So AC series. You realize the Unity XT is our unified storage solution. So this one meaning it supports both the block, file, and vehicles. While our SC, this is our pure block storage solution. So some of the advantages you get from the ME series, you are talking about more power, which you are talking about huge IOPS across all platforms. So 
it can be able to achieve high amount of IAPS when it comes to the AC series. You're talking about increased uh, capacity. So depending on the platform you're going for, is, is it an AC3020? Is it an AC5020? Is it an AC7020? Or is it the AC9000 model? All have different achievable load capacity that are required. And then there are also 10 times faster networks. So you're talking about the AC series being capable of supporting up to 10 gigs uh, SFP connectivity, depending on what the customer wants, and also being able to support up to 16 gig or 32 gig fiber channel connectivity in case the customer needs. In terms of simplicity, one key thing about all the NCS storage system is they can be managed from anywhere. Remember the cloud IQ, which is an, an insight that gives you an insight of most of the storage system is also available on the C series. Uh, the old the difference between Unity XT and AC series is economical value. So you'll get a lower dollar per, 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 per GB both on flash and hybrid compared to what you're looking at in terms of on Unity XT. Now the the key difference that you need to note, reason why that is a key a key difference differentiator is the Unity XT is a more unified a platform, while the the AC series is a is a more block platform. So, like I said, not all customers want the same thing. Different customers want to achieve different things. So, by weighing your customer, also checking your their budget. If they are more interested on a block storage and also the the they have constraint on their budget, AC series will be the best product to be able to position to them. But if, you, if you're looking at a customer that wants a more flexible uh, storage solution where they can run both their block system environment, run their file system environment, run also their vivos environment, and also in terms of cost-wise, they, they have a budget to allocate, then a Unity XT environment will be a very good uh, solution for that. And also you're talking about efficiency gains, you're talking about distributed sparing. Uh, right now you realize we don't have like a disk that is given there like a hot spare. So the hot spare is it's distributed along the, the, the storage, uh, the disks that are available on the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the storage itself. There's high availability enhancement. So most of this storage system come with Google controllers. So that kind of enhances most of the high availability. And then there's three times to 10 times data reduction. So the features like compression, efficient uh, compression and data duplication, those are included on the storage to be able to provide that. Uh, investment protection, looking at built-in block data migration. So this is pure, like I said, it's a block storage solution provided to provide blocks uh, services. Uh, online data in place upgrade. So, when customers wish to upgrade in terms of changing the controller to a different level, most of them can be done online, which it's an investment protection for most of the customers because this, if in case they want to achieve better performance by changing the controller, this can be easily done. Then uh, one key thing is cloud, no cloud, no cloud, post cloud based storage analysis. So when the cloud IQ, Customer can be able to achieve that because the cloud IQ is inbuilt and included on the storage system. So those are the key fact overview when it comes to optimize efficiency that the AC series can can provide. Now, the different categories of efficiency that Dell EMC AC series the component. Uh, provide, we are talking about platform uh, data reduction. So things like uh, the duplication, compression, all these things are included on the storage system itself. There's also platform efficiency in terms of tiering. Now with the with the AC series, tiering is done to a red level. So that the this, this can be of the same, but now based on the tier because depending on the tier that the customer is using. For RAID 1, it's a higher tier because you find like 
uh, most of the RAID 1 drives are being used are SSD. For RAID 5, we find that most of those drives are being used are RAID uh, SAS drives. While for RAID 6, you find that the kind of drives are used are SATA drives. So RAID theory actually is done to a level of RAID theory, which now what it does, it lowers cost of performance. So you don't have to spend so much amount of money on the SSD drives, so long as the, the storage system itself can be able to do the rate tiering based on the rate level. Uh, another thing that uh, the ACCs provide is optimized data center level. Now, if you had, have heard about the clustering, whereby with the AC series, you're able to cluster all the storage systems. So we are talking about a feature that we're talking about is a scale out. So you're able to put all the storage system in a cluster to be able to be accessed as one, which is a one key advantage compared to the Unity XT. So Unity XT has the capability of only doing the scale up model, while the U the AC series has the capability of the clustering, which provides an extension of the uh, scale out features. So we've both looked about looked at this uh, especially with the unity xt systems and the ac component systems the key things that we've been looking at at most of these storage product systems which are the performance simplicity and the efficiency so in terms of performance you'll find like uh, most of the ac system can do quite well in terms of performance especially for the ac 9000 we're looking at right now the storage system on itself doing up to six petabytes which is two two times more than the predecessor. Uh, the 7020 also doing up to now four petabyte, which is a huge amount of storage. And in terms of networks, we're talking about this storage system being able to support up to 100 to 25 gig of ISCAS, which is quite fast when it comes to network connectivity. Uh, when you're looking at the simplicity, AC series is web-based, especially uh, the management. So you can be managed from anywhere which makes it quite simple to manage. And then one key thing we, we looked at was the Cloud IQ. So Cloud IQ is also included on the SC series, which makes it uh, easier for upgrades and also expansion because the, the Cloud IQ give you insights in terms of analytics of the utilization of most of the systems on the component system. And then finally, in terms of efficiency, we have those uh, efficiency uh, platform that include those things like data uh, compression and uh, data duplication, which is also included on the storage. Those are the th th kind of features that bring about a good uh, efficiency in terms of storage. So there's no wastage of disks or uh, drives, especially on the storage systems on the components. Those are the kind of features that already included on the storage systems. Now, with the AC, it's, it's, the management is an AC OS. Right now, we are talking about the version of 7.3. So these are the platforms that are uh, available with uh, managing the AC. With the Unity, we are talking about the Unisphere, which is the management platform based on the Unity XT. But right, very soon, the compliance series is also very soon shifting to the Unisphere to be able to, as a management system. This one will bring about simplicity if you management of most of this platform using a, a one one based GUI platform making it quite easy to manage all the system from the unity xt system to the ac component systems now ac system also has the different variety it can come as a hybrid storage solution and it also can also come as a all factory solution so we are going to look at some of that that can, can be able to be done now, how is performance in terms of uh, AC series? You're looking at some of the achievable IOPS. You're talking about max IOPS on the AC uh, 9000. You're looking at 2,220,000 IOPS, which is quite high, especially for this. Those are the kind of advantages that you, you get with the AC series. So in terms of performance, AC series can do quite well for different kind of customers. So remember I talked about uh, Unisphere also being 
are uh, integrated on the AT series. So you realize the Unity XT having the Unisphere uh, management platform. AC series also having uh, the Unisphere platform makes it easier for customers to be able to manage most of this system quite easily. Cloud IQ is uh, it's an insight of more of a health score dashboard in terms of how the storage is being utilized. Uh, Built-in analytical whereby it kind of uh, tries to alert customers like what to do, what needs to be done, and how is the story being utilized. So Cloud IQ is also in integrated on the XT series, which and both the XT series, which gives a customer a be much benefit when using most of these storage platforms. Now, a series is normally chosen depending on the price, the budget that the customer wants, depending on the performance blend that they require. So, depending most of the solutions that when you are proposing with a series, it all depends on the budget and the performance that the customer will want to achieve. I talked about the rate sharing capability with the a series. Those are the kind of advantages that the, uh, the AC series comes with. So. You can do that and also depending on what the customer wants. So you can leverage in terms of are we going to add more capacity drives or are we going to add more uh, SSD depending on the customer budget and what kind of uh, performance achievement that you wish to achieve. So SSC makes it much more customizable for different customers to be able to at least match their target but at the same time match their uh requirement in terms of uh the performance they require so those are the kind of advantages that the ac series components gives to most of the customers now looking at the different types of models of ac series so we are looking at the ac3000 model which is the can do up to one petabyte and can hold up to 222 drives and then we have the ac uh 5, 5020 uh, that one can do can achieve up to 222 drives with up to 202 petabytes. And then we are looking at the AC7020, which can do up to 3 petabytes and also can support up to 500 drives. And lastly, we are looking at the, the AC9000, uh, which can do up to 3 petabytes and can hold up to 1024 drives. Now, the AC3020. AC3000, AC5020, AC7020, and AC9000, uh, those are hybrid uh, storage solutions from Compellent. So what I mean by that, it can support both the SAS, SSD, and SATA drives, depending on what the customer requirement. For an all flash storage solution, we have only two options from the Compellent series. So we have the AC. 5020F and then the AC 7020F. So those are the only all flash storage solution that we have from the AC. Now, based on if you can see, you can note that both the, the different uh, storage device also have the different uh, memory and process processor capabilities. So depending on what the customer requirements are and what can be able to achieve that it will depend on which storage solution you wish to present uh, another key thing is uh, in terms of data reduction capabilities you series we only have compression as data uh, data efficiency uh, data reduction uh, achievement that can be done but for the, the rest, which I talk about 5020, 7020, and the 9000 series, both have the compression and duplication included. And then finally, uh, we, like we all talked about, the inclusive software. So, there's for the hybrid platform, there are some software system, especially the replication. Uh, snapshots, those needs to be added, like the customer needs to purchase. But if the customer is going for an all-flash array, this is all included 
on the old flash array platform. So those are the key things that you need to know. Compared to the Unity XT, for the Unity XT, it's an all-inclusive software. While for the AC series, depending on which platform that the customer is going for, if it's a hybrid, then there are certain level of software that customer needs to include, purchase them separately. But for the AC series, we are going for the all flash model. Also, that one now is similar to what you have with the Unity XT model. So all inclusive software. And then finally, when it comes to management and architecture, the whole have similar management and architectural uh, uh, management like what you have with the Unity XT system. So we're talking about things like Cloud IQ and also things like uh, Unisphere. So those are all included. So those are the different ranges of uh, Unity AC family, uh, series family. So depending on what the customer requires, it all depends on what the kind of budget the customer has and what is available to present to the customer. Like I stated, not all solution fits all customer environment. So it's always good to understand the customer environment when it comes to provisioning and storage solutions. Now, with that, all that said and done, uh, we we finish on terms of the AC series uh, portfolio. So with that, you can also just, because we are just going through an overview. So you're just going to, we are just looking at some, some of the insights that the AC series might be having in the in the market and what's available to when you're then going there out there to position to the customer. Uh, another key thing to note is with the online solution configurator, which is the Dell EMC tool for configuring uh, most of these uh, storage systems. All these storage systems are available on the system, and all of you partners are able to be able to access the online system configurator and be able to do that on the system. Now. Going to my last uh, portfolio, which is the, my very in interesting uh, storage solution. We are talking about a storage solution that can be, you can get a proposal of less than $10,000. So we're looking at a storage solution that it can work both from the entry level to a mid-range platform. With the Unity XT uh, compellent AC series, most of them are purely weighed on the mid-range level. And also with the power store, which is also one of our mid-range storage solutions, those, yes, it does both the mid-range and console also do more of the high-end storage uh, requirements when the customer are in need. Now, with the power vault, which is the ME series, so this is a block-only storage solution also. Similar thing with what we have with the AC series. So with the power vault, we have uh, uh, the ME 4012, which is uh, it's, uh, it can hold up to 12 drives. The controller itself can hold up to 12 drives of 3.5 inch. And then we have the ME 4024, which is 2U, can hold up to uh, 24 drives of 2.5 inch. So the difference between the ME 4012 and the ME 4024 is the type of drive that can be able to support. So 4012, 3.5 inch controller, and ME 4024, it's a 2.5 inch controller. Now, there's also the ME 4084, which is a much dense and can hold up to, it can hold up to 84 drives of 3.5 inch. So this is depending on what the customer requirement in terms of density, it all depends on what you're going to position to the customer. Now, this ME, ME system, what I talked about, they are very affordable. So you're talking about low cost starting configuration. So depending on what the customer requirement, this kind of storage system can be able to achieve most of the customer budget, especially on, on what they're planning to do with the storage. So with the ME, is always very key. The workload that the customer is trying to run on the system, it all depends on which storage to position. Because it's not like now, this. I'm, I'm presenting the ME. All the all the customers that will be having now, you want to position ME. No, it all also, also depends on which kind of workload that the customer is trying to run. Because some of the workload that the customer might want to achieve will not be able to be achieved by the ME. But also the, depending on what kind of workload the customer wants to run, the ME it will depend on which kind of solution to be able to achieve. Uh, another thing is 
the AMA series comes with an all inclusive enterprise class software. So remember with the Unity XT comes with an all inclusive software. Same thing with the AMA, it comes with the all inclusive enterprise software. We're talking about things like snapshots, replications, all that can be able to be achieved on the AMA. Uh, one thing, one key thing to note is things like replication and uh, especially the replication. So if you're doing uh, on the Unity XT, replication only occurs from a Unity platform to another Unity platform. So that's how the, the replication, if a customer already invested on a Unity platform, if they want a DR site and then they want to involve replication, it's, it's more logical to go and position a Unity platform to that customer another on the site. For the AC series, when you're posi you already position a series to a customer where it wants not to add a, a replication to the DR site, it's also logical enough to go position a series because both the configuration will only see each other. Same thing with Amy. When customer had already installed on the HQ, the Amy series, and then they want to introduce the application feature, which they can also be replicated to the DR site, you only introduce the Amy same platform on this. So what I, all I mean by this is replication occurs between platform to platform of the same storage system. So if it's Unity, to have a unity dr if it's an ac you need to have an ac dr if it's a uh me you need to have an me dr it's only ac series that can do cross platform but cross platform based on uh those uh dell uh, dell storage system we're talking about the ps or the ecologic those two but not cross platform in terms of ac being able to replicate to a unity system so those, those are the few insights that you need to check on uh flexible to deploy all flash and hybrid systems so the ac series can be able the AMI series can also come in a blend of fully all flash and also in a blend of uh hybrid now what i mean by all flash meaning is you just get the the controller or the AMI and just pull, fill it with ssd drives so that's what they mean by ME uh, all flash. So it doesn't mean that when you when you go all flash on ME, you cannot mix it with SAS drives later in the future. With the ME series, those you can have a fully populated flash controller. And then in the future, if customer wants to upgrade to SAS drives, we can get an enclosure with the SAS drives and mix them up. But with the AC series and the Unity XT, if customer goes for all flash array, they are not able to uh, to get to mix it up with the, the normal SAS drive. So if if the customer you're positioning an all fresh array, this is the customer that you want to use the all fresh array up to the end. For the AC series, it also has that capability. So there's an all fresh array model which I talked about the AC fifty twenty and AC seventy twenty. If the customer purchases that, they are only be able to use the all flash array system till the end but at the same time they can get a hybrid array fill it up purely with ssd and call it an all flash array the only difference is with the ac all flash array it comes with all inclusive software but with the hybrid fully populated with the ssd to make it all flash array the software licenses has to be both separately so with the uh, uh, Amy, same thing with the AC, but we don't have like pure uh, platforms that support only all flash. It's all, all a matter of populating the storage controller with SSD drives and calling it all flash array. Uh, some of these uh, Amy series are simple and easy to use. I, like I said, it uses the web based uh, management GUI. So, another thing is for ME series, it doesn't use the Unisphere like what the AC series and Unity XT series, XT series use. It has its own platform of management. So it doesn't work the same thing way with the predecessor, what I've talked about, the mid range system. Uh, the installation and configuration is less than 15 minutes. So you realized for the 
deployment on the Unity X3 will take about 25 minutes. Right now, we have for the ME series, it took about 15 minutes. Uh, integrated sizing and configuration. So most of the sizing are integrated. You can, depending on the rate levels that you want to configure, depending on what kind of drives you want to do, it's all integrated on the system. They're also fast and powerful. Uh, we talk about having capability of achieving up to four cores on the processor per controller. So most of this storage system comes dual controller. Can achieve up to 320k IOPS. So remember the AC series, we're talking about 2.2 million IOPS, while this one, you talk about 320k IOPS. Uh, it can also scale on the vi on the back end using SAS. So you can actually uh, scale it up, adding enclosures on the AC series using SAS cable. One key thing you need to also need to note, note about the AC series is not only a SAN storage, it can also work as a direct attach storage. So you can use AC series, attach it to a server to extend the storage of a server. So those are the things, that's why I, was, I told you guys, uh, this is a, one of our most entry level storage systems that can really, really boost in terms of capacity on both ends. So it can do so much. So with the AC series models, these are the kind of capabilities uh, in terms of capacity that can achieve. We're talking about for the ME4012, we're talking about 3.1 petabytes. ME4024, we're talking about three petabytes. And then lastly, the ME4084, we're talking about four petabytes. So all these also, depending on the, the number of drives that can support, also is it there. Now, the different enclosures that the ME systems can support, we are talking about the ME4012, which is a, uh, it supports the 12 drives of uh, 3.5 inch. There's also the AME 4024, which supports the 2.5 inch, 24 drives of that. These are the enclosures. And then lastly, there's the AME 484, which supports the uh, 3.5 inch, 84 drives. So depending on what the customer wants to upgrade to, those are the kind of drive enclosures that are there. Uh, uh, in terms of protocols that are supported, you're talking about the fiber channel, 16 gig, we also have the 10 gig iSCSI and also 12G SAS. Like I said, you can use the ME storage as a direct attached, and you can connect it using SAS to directly to a server to extend the storage. Uh, all software inclusive, the enterprise software licensing. Uh, that's why you can see in the performance there is the tiering and the read cache. So all the, uh, you can integrate very well with VMware vCenter plugin or SRM plugin. Management, like I said, it doesn't use the Unisphere like what the Unity XT or the uh, AC series uses. So it uses its own Unity and uh, uses the ME storage management. So those, that's much about the ME series. So with Dell EMC, like we, earlier on we had said, so it, it's this, the Dell EMC storage port portfolio is more looking at uh, protecting uh, investment for most of the, these customers. And also it, it's a storage solution system that actually it's a path forward because right now everything is moving to the cloud. Uh, most of these customers, are they able to shift to the cloud with, with so with much ease? So those are the kind of uh, features that uh, really see in terms of future-proof program that's looking at. And then can this solution give them a peace of mind? So this, what you're talking about is the ability, ability to really see storage system to have all inclusive software. That, that there are no other hidden costs when it comes to the kind of software that be able to enhance the storage capability of each storage. Now, in terms of pricing, uh, what I talked about is most of the ME series we're talking about price of, of having an ATP storage system of less than 11K. You're talking about having a 2.4 TP storage system of less than uh, 12K. And then lastly, we talk about having about a capacity of 112 of less than 56, which is a huge amount of storage. Now, with the MS system, depends on the kind of workload that the customer wants to achieve. So we're talking about things like surveillance, the CCTV. We're talking about high performance computing, depending on the number of high performance computing that the customer wants to achieve. Because with the ME series, can be able to connected directly attached to a server. So that's with high performance computing, it's all based on 
the performance in terms of the processors and the memory that uh, the server can do. So that's why it can be used. It can also be used on virtualization, BDI. It can also be used as SAN and DAS. It can also be used for remote offices, especially when now customer has so many remote offices and they want to uh, have their, those remote offices to have their storage systems. Can also be used for databases and also video editing. So depending on the use case, these are the kind of use case that where the AV series work quite exceptional for customers. So this is the back end of the AMI series. So as you can see, these are the, the SAS expansion slots. So when you are trying to add more um, drives and closures to the AMI series when you're doing expansion, uh, areas where you add drives. And then the sides are the power supplies, which has the AC series come with dual power supplies. So this is purely for powering purposes. Then we have the management ports, so to be able to access the ME series, especially the storage management. And then with the ME series, you have the four ports per controller. So depending on what con what kind of ports you want, you want the fiber channel, you want the iSCSI port, you want uh, a mixed blend of both the fiber channel and iSCSI ports. So those are the spots where you, you insert the PCIs. Yeah, is plot. So, so like I said, depending on the type of source that you require, you can see below here. Those are the kind of connectivity you can add for the for the on the controller. And note that the AC, the ME series comes with a dual controller. And then finally, when you talk about the software inclusive, so these are the built-in softwares that are included included on the ME series. So we're talking about the, the rate tiering. Uh, Thin provisioning, the cache, uh, remote replication, snapshots, auto tiering, volume copy, encryption, and vCenter SRM. All these are included on the AC, uh, uh, MS storage systems. So, this is an example of how the red tiering works, especially on the MS series. So, depending on how, how active is the data, you'll find like most of the cool data is tiered to the low performance drives. While the hot data that is very active, it's moved to a higher tier, which is the tier one, which is a more performance tier drives. We, well, normally we use the SSD drives. That's where now, so that to reduce the latency of accessing data. And the advantage of this, it kind of helps the customer in terms of investment such that they don't need a huge amount of SSD drives so that they can be able to uh, provide good uh, less good latency to most of the application. They just need to get what requirement uh, of uh, SSD drive that they need and also distribute it evenly on the different tiers of drives that are, be it SAS or SSD, uh, then SATA drives, so that if Data is not being accessed most of the time. Instead of utilizing the SSD, it's pushed down to the uh, the less uh, the low the low performing drives so that it can be held there. And then the data that is being accessed most of the time is pushed to the higher tier drives. So those are the kind of advantages you get from the API. Now, the story management uh, web based for the ME series. So as you can see, similar thing to what we have with the Nucia and the which is used both on the XT and the XT. So most, most of them are GUI based. So with that, uh, with that said, this is the, my last slide. So I don't know if you guys had some questions. I can just, uh, Rakesh, I don't know if you can hear me. So you can always reach me by that. So thank you guys for attending. Uh, Kindly keep safe. Uh, hope to see see you uh, soon next time on next week, and. Uh...